All right, this is a one right here for the screwdriver for the Phillips. And I believe this one is a zero right here, along with more details on this that you're gonna see uh, when I zoom in on the back 20 pin. So you need a 20 pin motherboard connector type C. And uh, again, this just plugs in directly to the motherboard and then with the port right here on the side. Hello, hello, mom and dad, me world. So today we're going to be finishing up right now, working on this particular computer. This is the uh, computer with the Core i5 that we had picked up off of Amazon and Prime Day. And uh, we're just gonna be upgrading um, the SSD, or should I say we're gonna be adding another NVMe SSD. And then we're also gonna be adding the port that they said was on here, which is the USB-C port. We're gonna be adding that on here, but we're not gonna be uh, buying another card. We're just gonna be using the header from the motherboard and I'll show you what parts we have. Take a peek at this. This is a recommendation we got from a friend of ours, Chris, uh, off of Amazon. Take a look at that. You're definitely gonna want to uh, look this up directly off Amazon. This video is unaffiliated, unsponsored, uh, nothing. So definitely look this up yourself on here. And then this was a drive we actually had. This was uh, our older uh, NVMe drive right here that has already been formatted. It was used on a Mac, but it's been formatted uh, to a DOS format. So we're gonna use that screwdriver. And then this actual, these bunch of screws right here will go to hold the drive in place because they did not come with it. Our friend Chris had actually given this to us, but if you do look it up on Amazon, it is ASRock, the, the name of the motherboard. So let's get down to it. So I'm doing this one-handed, holding uh, the camera slash phone with one hand, and then just taking off these sub screws here. We're gonna undo this right here. Just set this aside, make sure it is nice and safe. And so let's take a peek here. So we're gonna go down here, pardon the noise in the background. Uh, I was choosing to do this outside, but there is a softball being thrown. Um, so I gotta work around that. And so if you take a peek at this, this is indeed a ASRock motherboard right here. We're gonna go right here right there that is the header for this USB-C port right here so this is gonna go right down here we're gonna undo that and then we're gonna take this right here and plug it in over here so this can only go in one way we're gonna zoom in on that or at least try to zoom in on that so if you can see it right here it's got like an L down at the bottom and this only plugs in one way. And if you take a peek at that, it's got like an L down there. So we're gonna match them up. All right, so take, take a peek at this. This can only go in one way and you're actually gonna hear it snap into place. So push right down here, doing this one-handed. I'm gonna brace the phone right here all, along the side of the case. Try to see if you can hear this. I don't know if you could hear that, but it was a nice resounding thud right into place. Pull it back out again, right here. There we go. That is definitively right here into place. Let's go the other side here, follow this cord. We're gonna undo this part right here and slide this right there. So we pulled it back ever so slightly. Take this screw. Pull that out of there. Okay, so I had to use uh, my thumb and uh, finger right here on both sides. One grab this side and the other grab the same thing on the other side to pull it more open right here. 
All right, I'm gonna take this right here, put this right here, slide it right into place. Hopefully the camera's not moving too much. And then I'm gonna grab the screw here, the screw that I just picked up off the ground. Again, you see it coming right off, but we're gonna again, get that right into place. See it right there. I'm gonna go, I don't know if you can see this right here, come right through the slot and I'm screwing it in right there. Get that port nice and even. Done, okay, so what we're gonna do from here is just push this back. And I'm talking about, there's this cover right here. Right here, we're gonna slide this back. So I'm gonna push here. I'm gonna take it off camera because I can't do this with one hand. One hand on this side, one hand on this side and push it. All right, you can see here, this is back. This is pushed all the way back. There you go, so there's that part. Next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna install the NVMe right here and you can see it here and use that other screw right here. All right, so we've got this one terabyte SSD right here. So what we're first gonna do is put it right into place right there. We're gonna come at it about 30 degrees on the side. Do you see how that slid right in? Push it back into place. And we're actually gonna see, uh, let's grab one of these screws that we had gotten right here. So out of the baggie of screws, we got this flat one right here. Put the tip right there, screw in. All right, there you see right there, we've got the drive mounted nice and even within the housing and you can see there, um, there's a nice silvery piece right around the screw nice and even on that we've got our usb c drive or usb c port here from the motherboard right there and we're just going to wrap it up all right hopefully you enjoyed this video we use one standard screwdriver right here to get to the port cover and we use a smaller one right here to mount the nvme ssd um, and then everything else was a thumb screw. This was a US, uh, type C USB 3.2 port we use right here. Again, right to the motherboard. So we did not have to buy another card using up a slot. So that is a good thing. You see that right here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out if you had actually picked up this particular PC during Prime Day. And uh, yeah, we've got our USB-C port and we've extended our storage from one terabyte to two. Uh, the other NVMe is in towards the top here. We just added a second one right here. So if you like this video, you know what to do, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. There's always room for improvement, whether it be power supply or the video card or memory, but we are not doing that right now. Run fine with 1080p games and uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Bye for now.